It's phenomenal map design. Oh, hold on, we have to see the cutscene. It's Remember CG. I have to. I can't skip map it. Design. Remember the swamp batter? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it's a time for the crits of the crazy <laughs> disco. <laughs> I still get kind of mad that Azora's like, they make it a point to show her like underwear every time. I like this also, song though. The dance is really weird looking. I like the song. <laughs> oh, is it time for the meme? Oh. That was good visual effect. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed so hard the first time I saw that. <laughs> okay, let's skip this shit. Oh man. Yeah, it's 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 the manga. All right, batter. What's up? Have I ever told you about my original run of conquest and how I didn't use Camilla? Dude, what the fuck? How'd you get past ten? Well, I you used Camilla in Chapter hard. 10, but I, like as soon as I got the option to bencher, or like reasonably bencher, I did. Dude, were you like one of those people that's like, uh, if I get experience on her, it's a waste? No, 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 no. I was, uh, my original train of thought with Camilla was that, okay, they're giving, because I have Jagan logic, and I'm like, okay, these if I grow per people, they'll probably be better than this. Little did I know, fuck, fuck you, it's fates and royals. But, uh, <laughs> anyway, I... I ended up benching Camilla because I wanted to use Baruka, and I was like, if I train up Baruka, she's probably going to be better than Camilla is. <laughs> and then you have, like, a fucking... And then I didn't use Camilla for, like, no, okay, this is how this kept on going. Like, I, I gave up in Baruka eventually. Like, I just put, I slapped her on core and I said, fuck it, because I married her. And eventually, like, in chapter 20-something, like, when we're starting to infiltrate, infiltrate Hoshido, I said, man, I'm really having trouble with some of these maps. So what I ended up doing was putting Camilla back on my team. And level 1 Camilla was still doing a lot of work, surprisingly. Yeah. Like She won't be that much stronger at that point, probably. Like in those late game chapters, she was still doing so much work. Yeah, she'd be better than fucking level 15 promoted Baruka. Yep. <laughs> but... Thanks. Thanks, Fates. Thanks, Fates best mage in, in the game. He might die. I don't care. I can't Better use him. Better than Elise. Fuck Elise. Fuck you. I like Elise. Don't fuck Elise. <laughs> no, oh, don't okay, fuck Elise. That's, that's not what I was saying. You might be 18, but she ain't 18. You know oh what I mean? God. I swear she said she was 18. <laughs> <laughs> Norian laws. Norian laws don't protect you in Hoshido, vile scum. Leo will be a, <laughs> your lawyer. Hey man, she's technically an adult. <laughs> she's just Mount Norish, like everyone else in Nor. <laughs> um, how does that explain Camilla? Did you know the average North Korean is like... Is five inches shorter than the average South Korean? Really? Yeah. I don't know. I'd imagine, but I never thought too hard on it. Yeah, so that's probably Elise. <laughs> You're right, actually. Uh, I, I can accept that. <laughs> Elise is North Korean. Oh my god. Quote Raven. <laughs> nor, nor is North Korea. Hoshido is South Korea. Man, this Wyvern Elise is putting in work, huh? Mm -hmm. Josh, Joshka was right this whole time. You're right. How, how could I be so foolish to never I mean, use this before? Malignite isn't terrible for her. There's just better, like, options. I mean, yeah, but you can't look at that. Please get a crit. Damn it. Yeah, that sounds God right. bless. Good thing that Elise doesn't have Naoi's outfit, yeah. That might be a little bit, a lot more questionable. But she's technically an adult, so it'll work. She's technically an adult, but are your morals questionably right? Hey, man. One of the, so one of the highest rated subreddit drama threads is about Noe. Really? Really? Yeah. yeah. I'm not even, let me find it. Yeah, they were like trying to vote for the best drama of 2016, and like one of them, one of the candidates was the one about Noe. Hey, what was what was the drama about it? Is no, is it okay to fuck Noe if she's technically a thousand years old? 
<laughs> I mean, it's up to you at that point. <laughs> the answer is no. I'm not gonna say any. A. <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> no e. <laughs> no way. A blazing question makes a critical hit on our Fire Emblem. Awakening drama. <laughs> Awakening drama when users argue if you should be able to marry characters who look like children. I no! I didn't notice! Did you get hexing? I didn't notice there was a hexing rod! <laughs> it's okay, it's only Perry that got hexing rodded. I, I, yes, baby, you are. Nintendo censors some fan service. Our okay. Fire Emblem procs their drama skill. It's okay. Hexing Rod only has like 30 accuracy when you're using it. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. That She's... stuff broke. She said she was 2000. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Batter. Have you checked out Trump criticizes Trump? Yeah, I love it. You should you should post the, the thread to uh Twitch or er, not Twitch plays a uh, voice text, the one about Noe. Okay, I'm back. I'm trying to find it. Welcome back. We're talking Sorry, about. Yeah, kinda... Sorry, I kind of just dipped out without saying anything. It's fine. That's We're fine. talking about the controversy of fucking Noe. <laughs> <laughs> what a thing to come back to. So, We're so Jedi, what's your stance on this situation? Do you think it's morally right to fuck a dragon that's two thousand years old that looks like a child? Uh, say no. Well, That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so wait, are you gonna kill Shura for boots? Yeah. <laughs> That's such a weird payoff. They, my favorite headcanon is that they scavenged the boots from his corpse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. It's like, Lacorn, I know you probably feel bad about, like, murdering this dude, but, uh... Boots! <laughs> Here's one move. <laughs> By the way, those that are way too heavy for him. Hey. Yeah, so the you alien double chapters are a joke. Please get a good level, Selena. Sakai okay. chapters are shit. But, like, Ilya's a joke. Oh, good. Oh. She got a good level. Oh, that was actually a level. Yeah. She one had in a good level before. One in a 1,000 chance. Yeah, she got luck before, Batter. That's a really good level. No, I meant like her last level in that chapter, you fuck. Resistance? No, not that was not her last level. Leave it last would level say was luck that, in that chapter. No, it wasn't. She got another level near the end, and Staros, like went really fast past it and didn't comment on it. Yeah, because I oh, probably shit. didn't even notice it. <laughs> So a lot of the times I don't really pay attention to levels because they're either gonna make me salty or not. So. Rafa, that that also. Whoops! Accidentally killed Kaze. That's okay. I'm not you... using him anyway. It's okay. He dies in the story. And... <laughs> Unless you have oh. an A rank with him. No, you can have an A rank with him, and then he survives. That was so really stupid. That was... <laughs> that okay, was... so you know what the funny thing is? The only reason I knew that came up because was uh, Sakurai did an interview and he mentioned it. God damn it. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> I I just remember I skipped the plot in the next chapter I'm like, what happened to Kaze? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. oh no. Mommy, so I out. What happened to Kaze? <laughs> I freaked out and I Googled it and then like the first thread I saw was Anna complaining about it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Thanks, I went back and played a little bit of Super Metroid on my own with keyboard, and I didn't miss a single fucking wall jump. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I hear Batter's laugh. <laughs> I hear someone in the distance. Batter's laugh is really cute. I'd fuck it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, I think that's another one. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so you want to... <laughs> Cap <of> Pride? <laughs> okay, 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 man. Okay, that's, 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 that's the... Oh. Ooh. Of the list of things that I expected to hear today, that was not one of them. Batter. <laughs> I mean, I'm straight, you know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, I should uh, probably go soon because this point is when all the rides ramp up. 
Four hours, 42 minutes. That's quite a bit. I've gotten actually a lot of shit done today. A lot more than I thought I was going to when I started the stream. For this game? You're yeah. saying that, and then you're going to get a game over up there. Wait for the Royals' next chapter. That will be so much fun to see. Which which is... What is next chapter? Next chapter is... Chapter Death. 15. Thanks. Thanks, Raven. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> it's not the boat. No, it's not... It's... Not, it's Oh, <laughs> ghost ship. <laughs> it's Gunter. And it's oh, that's not that bad. I can probably knock that. I'll probably do that and the stream after I beat that map. Return Gunter of Gunter. Gunter. Return of the Gunter. I honestly like that map just because I like Gunter. And then Trap. <laughs> I like the music. Uh, same it's, here, actually. Music is nice, yeah. yeah. I remember somebody saying that that chapter would be like one of my favorites. I'm not, I forget who. That chapter would be concept. one of my favorites if the game wasn't fades. <laughs> like, I think that's the common opinion here. Also, Elise is about to get entrapped. Yeah, I, I'm fine with Elise getting entrapped. But there's a bower. There's two bows. But they're not in range of the bower. I know what, what I'm doing, guys. Elise isn't in range of the bower. Are you sure? Yes. She will be you know what entrap does? Entrap? It, it lowers just. Oh, wait, entrap? No, it just makes. It'll be fine. Oh, wait, no, yeah. you're right. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> shit. I didn't know what entrap did. I forgot what entrap did. I thought that was. It's okay. She has decent. She has decent avoid. No, she it's doesn't. It's in the fucking name. No, I honestly read it, I read it as in Febble. Oh, no. Febble? No, it's read no. as in Febble. Well, there was okay, one I E. I don't think one of those. I don't think the boss moves, so you could probably have Niles kill the uh, one of the archers. You're right. You're, You're right, he doesn't move. Doesn't move. Okay. He doesn't move. And Actually, no, gonna... fuck that. I'm just gonna have Niles kill the, uh... The person the with boss. the entrap staff. Oh. That's probably smarter? Depends on if Niles can tank two bow guys. He... Okay, he let can. me check if he these can. guys have the same stats. Yeah, they have the same stats, and... It, okay. They have yeah, the same weapon, 11. so... It'll be fine. And he's and about he'll to get... get... A dual guard. Yeah, he's oh, wait, about what, to get what dual guard. Their skill? Do they, they don't have death blow, do they? Yeah, he, no, he has six, the accuracy one. Okay. He has six guard points. He'll be fine. He has certain blow. Yeah. Okay. That's that's fine. Kind of forgot this game had death blow actually. <laughs> certain blow. Or I mean, just like the blows in general. I'll yeah. Blow we're you. Fine. No, I won't. You forgot the game blows. Raven, Raven, <laughs> that was too easy. Come on. <laughs> Shoutouts to whoever gave me Niles. Dude, Niles is actually so good. He really is. I've never used my him that Niles much. was my MVP in my first conquest run. I never use Niles because I don't like him, but maybe I should change that. He's he's a so he's a really good unit. Take bets on yeah. if Elise is gonna miss a ninety. I mean, he has nine moves. That's that's already really good. He just needs reposition, man. <gasps> what? Did she miss? Oh, she has magic counter. Oh. Hey! Rip. Oh no. No. <laughs> no! You done goofed. Oh, oh you no. made Elise cry. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Fuck. Oh man, that really sucks. Alright, so now that all the, uh, the funny business is out of the way. Here, I'm coming at you. Um, this isn't a live stream, by the way. So, this is completely recorded by itself, just so I can get this chapter out of the way. Uh, I didn't... I, I ended the stream off last time at... After <laughs> the Elise got fucking killed by Kumagera. But, I didn't want to stream and start it off like... Hey, remember last time where we kind of fucked up and now we have to fix everything? I just wanted to get it out of the way so I can go ahead and actually, not only for the sake of the stream and making it more, like, a more stable experience, but also for the sake of recording and getting these VODs out. But while we saw a lot of me struggling quite a bit with, uh, we saw me struggling quite a bit with this chapter, saw, it took me about a couple hours in stream no about an hour, an hour 15 minutes i'd say i was struggling and while i got it done eventually it was it kind of took a while but this chapter 
realistically, is not that bad at all. It's a pretty simple chapter. It's just there are two main waves that we have to deal with in this chapter. We have to deal with this first wave, which is all these people, the and including the archer that I just killed. Um, it's all those people, and then basically that what I deal with in that first wave is all the uh, what did they call it? the the shrine maidens. Because each of the shrine maidens have a debuff on them. They have this one has enfeeble. Uh, this one has freeze. This one has hex. Um, and then there's another one that I'm missing somewhere. I think I passed. Uh, yeah, it's this one with an extra freeze staff. Uh, this this one right here you actually can't get rid of early. You have to you have to tackle that on your second wave. But yeah, this is the first wave right here. It's relatively painless to get through. It's just making sure that you got everything, I guess. I kind of fucked up a little bit on that wave right there, anyway. But I'm going to send... I got to make sure that they aren't in range of archers, but I'm going to send both of my flyers over this way. Because I want to kind of divert the, the Sky Knight's attention. What rank is that? Rank C? I'm surprised that Elise doesn't rank C in uh, Magic yet, but this game really is kind of rough when it comes to uh, when it comes to crit rates. Or, uh, not the sword I wanted to use, and I pay, I'm going to pay for that, honestly. Uh, this game's kind of rough when it comes to... What's the word I'm looking for? I guess... Oh, uh, to give the rank bonuses. This game is really rough. But I'm going to want to... The main pair-ups I'm going to be using are the ones that I've always been using. And I'm going to uh, use Anna pretty liberally. Not only for healing, but for pair-up bonuses on both Keaton and on Niles. And I am in... I'm not afraid at all to use... To use Leo, like, completely... I am not afraid to waste them or to have them die, so because I don't get to use them in this PMU after this chapter, so it's not like, oh no, I gotta make sure he stays alive, sort of deal. Elise's hit rate is honestly, since she's become a Kinchi Knight, has also really been bad. I need to check if that's I'm getting like seal speeded or something because I swear to God, uh. I'm like my eleven sword whenever I'm wielding it. Can I make critical hits or trigger offensive skills? Yeah, I don't it just seems like my speed is really bad and I can't double when I'm wielding it, but maybe I'm just thinking about the Kinchi Knights, because there are going to be a set of reinforcements of Kinchi Knights Um once you trigger the second wave. But there is some things you can trigger before the second wave, like kind of a, a wave and a half, I guess before. Oh, and you gotta watch out. There's a couple units with pass in this chapter. This is, yeah, it's, ba I think it might be all the samurais now that I'm looking at it a bit more. But, so watch out for the samurais because they do have pass and if you're not prepared for that, they can kind of dick you over. But if you're m paying attention to everything, this first wave isn't that bad at all. I've almost got it done already as it is. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that, and then bring this, uh, bring my unit and Laszlo up here. You're gonna want to take care of all these uh, shrine maidens early because the debuffs that they give you are really, really annoying to deal with. Otherwise, like I said, we they have an feeble free staff and a hexing rod. So while I'm Realistically, I'm hoping for like no hits on the infeeble or on the hexing rod whatsoever, but I'm prepared to take all three hits with characters like uh, not necessarily Arthur, but like uh, Odin and Perry and Laszlo, who have always been just kind of a pair up fodder. They're not going to be seeing any battle regardless. Uh, the only real battle that they might see is from the Shrine Maidens. But I want to save those Shrine Maidens for Selina as it is. So hopefully, I'm going to waste a few turns here, and hopefully that will 
get rid of all. Well, I'm not not even hopefully. It will get rid of all their staffs. Unfortunately, that hit Laszlo, and it's probably going to hit Perry as well. It missed Perry, so we are good there. The Hexing Rod is no more. We do still have to deal with this Enfeeble staff that has two uses. This Freeze staff uh, down here. Oh, I'm actually not in range of that, so I should probably do that. I'm no longer... Uh, this is where the max range of where the Hexing Rod would be, so be careful of that. You can also... I'm going to also bring Perry and... Uh, Perry and Elise down here because next turn I'm gonna want Anna to heal like I said I'm not gonna be too uh, I'm gonna be pretty liberal with Anna I don't care about wasting the heal staff because honestly I'm uh, paid a winning for money so realistically like wasting supplies isn't that big of a deal like I shouldn't be doing it in theory but the, the what I am worried about wear, uh, wasting is the horse, the what is it, the Fistals, that's what it is. Um, I'm going to bring Elise over to this part of the map because if I do, because of the way this map is layered, I can put myself down here and it'll only activate one of the Hoshiden Sky Knights, which is going to be this one with the Bolt Nanginata, which Elise, because of her res, which, what is her res at right now? It's at 28, so she's not going to take any damage from that. She's not going to take any damage from, like, magic users for the rest of the game. What is this sword catcher? I haven't ever looked at this before. Effective against swords or katanas, weak against other sword weapons. Okay, so we're going to want to bring her over here to sort of trigger this mini wave in between. So, let's do that real quick. I have the horse spirit equipped to get those buffs, and after that, I'm going to want to switch units over here, get these heals off super quick, um, and let's get the transfer onto Keaton, so I can heal Keaton next turn because those Sky Knights are going to come very fast because just because of their move. So let's get these turns started just to get it going. So those Sky Knights are already kind of in range. We're still dealing with the... Actually, hold on. Let me equip Dual Shuriken because that'll up my uh, avoid with Anna. And... Kill off this unit. As long as Elise hits been kind of not getting very lucky with that as it is gotta make sure that I stay out of the range of this because once I get into the range of these battle units then that's when oh, not you once I get into the range of these units then that's when I get into actually having to worry about the second wave because the second wave won't appear until you trigger this so let me move Selena back because I'm not sure if she can handle that. Let's move Effie forward and let's pair up Leo with Keaton. And that should do it. Keaton's going to get freezed and that is the end of the freeze spells. That was the sword... Uh, I should have been a bit more careful for that, but it's fine. That's what I really gotta worry about. Was that a beast killer? Bolt Naginata. I thought the Bolt Naginata person went over here, but I was wrong about that. What is your res at? 16, uh... Nah, let's not, let's not play with that and just get the one round with the Iron Bow. Alright, let's get a decent level on, ooh, on, fuck, Niles, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that was a good level, except, like, I think it didn't get strength. I wasn't paying too much attention to it. All right, but this is where you kind of have to load up again. Get all those, he get all the heals that you want. Bring Elise back over here, because soon, in a second, we're going to want to start the second wave. And the second wave is a lot more dangerous, because not only, we're going to be sandwiched. We're going to be getting sandwiched here in the second wave. In the second wave, we're going to have all of, like, over here, like, these people won't move until you approach farther there, but all of these people are going to be here on the second wave, as well as three teams of a Sky Knight and a Kinchi Knight.
that you're going to have to deal with. So be careful about those. You're going to be sandwiched here probably in this middle platform. Or at least that's what I'm planning around. I'm not sure if that's necessarily like the optimal or unoptimal thing to do in like the situation I'm in because you can call for like optimal things in Lunatic like oh you're supposed to have this here or you're supposed to be using these classes but because of the PMU rules I'm kind of a little bit fucked in terms of being able to use what is considered optimal but it's nothing too major I can still get this chapter done and probably the whole game done get these heals. I might get an Ana level off this, to be honest, but probably not. No, I'm not. Okay. So, we're going to want to bring Elise over here, to because there is actually one unit that we do have to worry about, and while all these, uh, all these archers are pretty worrying, there is a bigger threat in here in the enemy that I still have highlighted, which is this Oni Savage with the Pike Ruin Club, which will um, makes follow up. Oh wait, no, that's that's the wrong one. Effective against spears and naginatas, weak against other weapons. Which our beefiest unit just happens to be uh, a spear user. We got. We're gonna equip the. We're gonna stand here because this is gonna activate the next phase. We're going to equip the dual Naginata so we have the weapon triangle in our advantage. We're going to keep Elise there, move Selena back over here because she's not going to be able to. She's not going to be able to really do much in this phase until, well, actually at all, because of the fact that. All right, we should be good here. She's not going to be able to do much in this phase because the Kinshi Knights are going to be able to one round her and we don't want that. So let's start this phase with the reinforcements over here and we're going to want to switch to Keaton and we're going to want to move you over here so you're, dual or you're on attack phase dual support. Um, we're going to have to wait still another turn for... We're going to have to wait another turn for her to be in effective range for this guy because these guys don't move that turn they're gonna wait they're gonna wait until the reinforcement spawn and then they will move unless you're a little bit farther in in which case i think they will move but i don't want to tempt it because this is how i'm able to do it all right you're gonna waste these freeze spells on selena because that's in that effective range we should be able to be taking out these guys Alright. Elise is going to take out this guy as long as she hits. The Pike Ruin Club is gone, which means our biggest threat is gone. Bring MU over here with the Leaven Sword to take out any all any and all archers that head over there, which just happened to be that one. And use the Brynhildr to take out that guy so we can move Effie forward. Other than that, we're going to have to sit on our money here. And actually, I think Niles just has to sit here, and we should be fine. Move Keaton up a little bit because he's kind of he's a little bit squishy right now. Not going on. Unfortunately, Effie's going to get free staffed, but we should still be in the safe zone. If I manipulated this correctly, which I think I did, then Niles is going to be able to one round all these Kinchi Knights as they throw themselves onto him. Unfortunately, one Kinchi Knight went over and attacked. Uh, Leo, but that's fine. Now we're going to be able to bring uh, Keaton over here to one round this Kinshi Knight. Or I guess two round it. And we're going to have... We're going to change uh, her weapon from the dual Naginata to the pseudo Javelin. That way we can fight the archers when they start attacking. Because if they start attacking, that is. Now, we only have three of these Sky Knights left. We can bring Selena back as well, since... Ah, uh, she's not in effective range, actually. That's disappointing. Unfortunately, Storm isn't going to be able to... Oh, not what I wanted. Isn't going... Oh, wait, she is going to be able to double. She can't double the Kinshi Knights. So, be careful that we only have a couple units left that are big worry. I wonder if I can... No, the sidelong Yumi isn't going to really do anything. Unfortunately. 
and bring you over here. Actually, let's get Leo to get the first hit. Uh, you're gonna have to move him to it. I'm gonna have to move him to a situation like that where he's gonna uh, take a hit. All right. As long as she doesn't miss the 90. All right. There we go. She's gonna keep on getting freeze there. She's still in the range, but not too bad at all. And because these Shrine Maidens don't move at all, so the archers actually can't target Effie. So, she's gonna let the archers run up to their death spot. And just like that, we have the second wave done. Now the only thing we have left to worry about are these, is this uh, last little push. What we have there is two archers that have certain blow and a Shrine Maiden with... Uh, With Entrap, that's right. I I can't I, I don't know why I keep on forgetting the name of that spell. Get these heals off the EXP. While Selena goes ahead and kills all these shrine maidens. What did she get? Oh a chesky. That's fine, we're not even gonna use that chesky. There's, no, there's nothing really left to worry about in the tra this chapter. The uh, the biggest thing that we have to worry about, and we I know you might wondering what you might be wondering what this middle section of, is about and why I'm not targeting it. The answer is there's it's really not worth it. I'd have to send one of my flyers over there, and both of my flyers are kind of squishy as is, and I'd have to take down both of these archers and then have to deal with these three oni uh, oni savages. One of them has heart seeker, which is not worth fighting and he has the pike ruin club so that really isn't worth the time or like the effort that you would have to put in to actually get what's up there which is the angelic robe or the seraph robe one of the two the plus hp plus five hp all right got the free xp for selena heal on leo get the free xp for anna open this chest to get ten thousand gold go and all that's left is really to put all of our units into place because this is going to be our final push here the boss here uh kumagera has magic counter he has darting blow and he has certain blow so things are probably going to hit on his end, and that's scary, because he does have a Steel Mace, which is 1-2 to two range, and the Ox Spirit. I don't think Ox Spirit gives him any buffs, in fact I think it debuffs him. Oh no, defense plus 1, each scroll, weapon boosts 1, or more of the wielder stats. The real danger we have here is making sure that none of our flyers get in range of the Entrap spell, and how we're going to be able to work around that... Unfortunately, that's not what I was hoping for. I'm gonna have to... Let's move Leo out of the way. And then move you here. You should still have the range to be able to do it. There we go. Move you here. And... Because they aren't gonna attack... They aren't gonna target, target Niles, because I guess he's too strong at this point in the game. They're like, holy fuck, that dude's buff. So we're not gonna wanna... We're not gonna wanna fuck with him. We're gonna want to switch over Anna to... Niles here, just for the extra speed buff and luck buff that it gives, and we're going to be able to get all of these people here. At full health, Niles should be able to tank both of these uh, both of these archers' hits, so you are going to be all sorts of safe. In fact, he might even get yeah, he's going to get the uh, dual guard, so she he's extra safe. You know, this boss is pretty easy, but like, if you're naive like I was, <laughs> as you guys saw earlier, then it is something to worry about. There, it's enough to keep you like aware of, hey, you should be looking at boss stats. But with proper care and advantage, that's not going to be too big of an issue. I don't know, I wish someone was here so I could ask this because I'm not 100% sure. But I don't know if the Levin Sword actually 
uh, procs of uh, counter magic. I'd assume it would because it's uh, magic based, but so that's what making me not want to try it. But if it doesn't, then I could probably just solo with Storm. Yeah, I can. But not worth it. Not worth restarting the chapter over. Bring up this dual Naginata. He's gonna have five hit. Very easy. I don't know if it's going to be 100% safe to one round this guy, tech, tech, like, or even attempt it, because. Eh, it might. What you're gonna? Okay. What I'm gonna do here is bring Niles over here. He's going to be able to survive, but I want to set up Ni uh, Effie in place first, get these hits, then move Niles into place, get these two bow hits. He's going to survive this with 10 HP. Oh, never mind. He's going to take the kill. All right. Thanks for the crit, Effie, you rigged bitch. <laughs> All right. All right. That's a good level. All right. And that's chapter 14. Not too hard, not too easy. It's just kind of something you have to be aware of. You have to be aware of, hey, you're going to get sandwiched at this point. You're going to have to worry about the second wave. You're going to have to do all this. But pretty easy chapter all around. All right. Well, with that said, I will see you guys next time. I have some grinding that I have to do with... Um, oh, yeah, and we also get the Grimiato after the chapter, which will become her main... Uh, I don't think that... I'm pretty sure that's stronger than the... Uh, I'm pretty sure that's stronger than the plus two iron sword. So I have to take care of some some gr some support grinding. Speaking of supports, I haven't ever seen Anna support, so I kind of want to read that. So yeah, next time we will actually have some paralogs to do, I'm thinking. Probably try and go get the three child units that I can actually get to, just so I can have a full team and other than that um, we also have chapter 15 to do which is a pretty simple chapter but we'll do all that next time next time I actually stream so thanks for watching the video and I will see you guys next time take care